Well, I thought the direction that they moved in in the draft, they drafted two tight ends in the draft. Um, that Now they signed uh, Kyle Rudolph, uh, and they brought Cameron Bake back, although O.J. Howard has moved on. He's in Buffalo now, Skip. I think maybe they saw the writing on the wall at, towards the end of last season that Gronk was kind of wearing down. And, you know, I, I don't know how much that he loved it. He loved the game, but I don't know if he loved the practices and all the things that come along with actually that you have to do before you actually play the game. And so I, I think that was kind of the direction that they were heading in. And, you know, he was like, well, I'll, I'll let you guys know. Uh, last uh, uh, Coming into last season, Skip, he let them know a lot earlier that he was coming back. This year, kind of late, late, late. And kind of like I think the later it got, the more they started to realize that we don't, I don't believe Gronk's going to come back this year. And if he does come back, it's probably going to be at some point in time in the season, although I don't believe that's going to happen. So I, I, Gronk has said he's done. He says uh, uh, the injuries uh, 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 that, he, that he had gone through last year took a toll on his body. We've list uh, of the litany of injuries that he's had over the course of his career, dating back to when he was in college. And Gronk is just not a receiving tight end. They asked Gronk to hold up against defensive linemen, uh, linebackers and things of that nature. So he has to be a two-way player in order to be his best uh, Rob Gronkowski. So for me, Skip, this reti uh, uh, I didn't need them to sign Kyle Rudolph to convince me that I didn't believe Gronk was coming back, although uh, uh, there's a greater chance now that he isn't coming back. Um, this, this is, uh, 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 I think this is probably the nail in the coffin. I don't see Gronk coming back. I didn't think he was coming back. Um, like I said, I think Gronk loves the game of football. He loves playing the game of football. It's the other things, the meeting, the practice, the training in the offseason that, that gets you prepared to go play the game of football, I think he can do without. I'm just going on my gut feeling. Th this is such a golden opportunity for Rob Gronkowski to win yet another ring with one of his closest friends. Is it going to change the way you think of Gronk if he got no, five rings? No, it's just fun. <laughs> it's, it's just, it, it's why you have some regret to this day that you're not still playing. Some regret because you miss that thing about it. You, you miss winning with the fellas. You miss the camaraderie in the locker room. You miss Sundays. You miss playoff games. It's just you, you can't replace it in your life. No, no, no. And, no. and he knows that because he's tried to replace it in his life. He's tried a couple of times now to pull away. Mm -hmm. And it's hard to pull away because nothing else you can do can capture the the ultimate joy that this can give you. Mm -hmm. And you're close friends with the greatest quarterback who ever played, who's still playing at age 45, in a warm weather city with a now a tweaked coaching staff with with a head coach that I think you'll you'll like a little more. I think the circumstance will be. A, I think it'll it'll just be a little smoother ride this right. time than it was with Bruce right. Arians. And because of all that, you even have the opportunity to come back at midseason. You can just take off half a year if you want to, as long as you come back ready to go, because you you know the offense, you know the quarterback like nobody's ever known the quarterback. And you can even play it by ear. You can see if they get off to a good or a bad start. But if they get off to a decent start. I don't know, November 1st, sometime in there, you, you could join, you rejoin, and, and here we go, mm -hmm. down the stretch, and you can take far less punishment to have far more joy than your new endeavors will ever give you. So that's why, remember, the agent, it's, it's Drew, Drew Rosenhaus, Rosenhaus, right? Yeah, okay, so the agent said, Drew Rosenhaus said, right away, don't be surprised if he comes back. Right. And now his girlfriend the other day said, hey, I know him pretty well, and I'm a never say never on this. I don't think it's a done deal. I don't think this is the retirement yet. That's what she said. She right. said, I'm an honest lady. That's just my my gut reaction right now is that. I'm paraphrasing her words. But the, the point is, two people very close to him said, the door is still open for this. And I believe it is, because I don't think Kyle Rudolph will even begin to fill the shoes of Rob, no. Rod, Rob Gronkowski because Kyle Rudolph, he, he's a full six feet, six inches. So oh, he's, he's, a big, he's, he's, he's a big he, man. He's, yeah, a he's, a, he's the size of Gronk, but he ain't Gronk. I don't think he has the, the physical stature that Gronk right. brings to the football. You, you've been around Gronk, and you just said he's a huge He human, is a huge man. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I look at stats, and I look at career stats, and I look at the two best years that Kyle Rudolph ever had. It was 2012-2017. He made the Pro Bowl. Right. Pretty good. Yeah. 
in those years he caught 53 and 57 balls. And then I look back at Gronk's, if we just do his greatest year ever in New England, we, it's, it's, we're going back to 2011, but he caught 90 balls for 1,327 yards and 17 mm -hmm. touchdowns that led the league that year in touchdowns. The most for Kyle Rudolph were at nine and eight in his two Pro Bowl years. Mm -hmm. So the, the numbers would suggest he's like twice the receiver yeah. that Kyle Rudolph is. And then last year, you know, Gronk quietly had a pretty good he year. I he mean, did. he had tw he played 12 games. He had 89 targets. He caught 55 balls for 800 yards and six touchdowns. But Kyle goes to the Giants, and and again, you can say it's a product of Daniel Jones, mm -hmm. but he had a really quiet year, like a scary quiet year, because he played all 16 games. He got only 39 balls thrown to him for 26 catches. So Gronk was 55 catches to 26. Yeah. Once again, he's doubling his production right. in, in four fewer games. So, man, I listen, Kyle Rudolph caught my eye that night. You might remember that Sunday night game in 2019, another one that sticks in my craw. Minnesota, it's mm -hmm. Kirk Cousins at Jerry World right. against Dak. Remember, Dak drove him down at the end of the game, and he's just on fire. He, he completes five straight passes, and all of a sudden they go Zeke, Zeke, throw yeah, it to right. Zeke. Mm -hmm. Remember, and they just fizzled, they stop. right? They just fizzled out, and they yeah. lost 28 to 24. Well, early in that game, Kirk Cousins to Kyle Rudolph gave them a 14 to nothing lead, which shocked me, but, but he impressed me that night because he's pretty athletic. It's just not the same. Right. Gronk is a difference maker, even at – He's about six months older than Kyle Rudolph, but at 33, you don't think Gronk could come back in November and make a difference? Yeah. I believe that, but he'd have to want to do it. He'd have to want to suck it up. He'd have to want to do the meetings. He'd have to want to do everything that goes into it and get hit. Yeah, <laughs> that's the thing. Get, get hit. <laughs> see, that, yeah, yeah, see, that was the part. I mean, I love the game of football, but they, they, was going, they were still hitting. I thought, whoa, 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 if I come back, y'all not going to hit? At least not as hard. Skip also... Plus, you got to do things to build up to be able to take those licks. So now he's going to have to get, what, probably six weeks of training, eight weeks of training in to go back out there on the field and do what he needs to do. And that's the question. The, the longer you get away from something, the easier it is. Well, think about how Tom. Tom made that decision in 40 days. Tom said, man, if I sit around here and try to make this decision in June, man, I might, hey. Okay, but his point was... I got to do it for free agency because they got to know, am I going to be there? And he's still the lightning rod that people will go to play for. But he also knows he needs to get his body. He needs to tell myself, okay, I'm a go. Because hey, all of a sudden, April, May, June roll around here. He's like, well, man, oh, let me go now. That's not enough time. He was doing a little something. He said, you know what? I feel pretty good. Let me go ahead and just let them know. My mind is, my mind is where it needs to be. We're going to go play football. But, Skip, look, I, I didn't really need this Kyle Rudolph signing to convince me that Gronk is done. Skip, I understand what Drew Rosenhaus said, and I understand I have nothing but the mo most respect for his girlfriend. But I heard it from him. I heard it from the horse. No, I, the, the trainer and, and, and the owner, I, I didn't even hear I heard it from him. The horse was talking. Okay, he said he was she, done. she said both Tom and Gronk love to play with the media, toy yeah. with the media and do willy or won't he yeah. and just have fun with it, and maybe he's having fun with it. That was her point. Yes. Okay, all I know for sure is you root against Brady, I root for Brady, and I don't like his chances as much with Kyle Rudolph. He's Tom Brady. Brady. Well, so he's Rob Gronkowski, and you called him the GOAT yes, tight end, right? but you called Brady the GOAT quarterback, and you okay. said GOAT quarterback is four times more valuable than the tight end. That's what you tell me every day. I just keep thinking about that play on opening <laughs> night last year against my Dallas Cowboys at Tampa. They yeah. were the defending champs. Right. There was that one play where... Brady just looks sideways at Gronk, and it, they, they realize, oh, he's on a backer. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, you're talking about when De, uh, DeMarcus Ware lined up over there. It was, right? a, it was a bare front. Uh, not DeMarcus Ware. Yeah, I mean, De, DeMarcus Lawrence. Lawrence, Lawrence, yes, Lawrence yes, yes. yes, yes. And he felt like he was going to block, and then he jets up inside him, and, and, and Brady hits and, four and, touchdowns. And, and, and the, but all they had to do is just glance like Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see what I see? Well, you yeah. see that, and that's the thing. That's okay. why you study tape, Skip. You see it on tape, and you see, okay, man, hey, if they give us this look, we don't need to say, hey, you know what's coming. Okay, but that comes from 12 years. Yes. You know, that, that's just, yeah. you, you've been through all the, the biggest battles together. Mm -hmm. And Gronk likes to play like, I, I don't study. Bad I just, boy job. You know, <laughs> yeah, I, he does study. Yeah, a and, lot. And Belichick always talked about high football IQ yes. and hard worker in yes. practice. So I don't discount his hard work in right. practice. 
and Brady loves to play with him because they're connected. Yes. And I don't think Brady will be able to develop anywhere near that kind of rapport with Kyle Rudolph. No. He's he's okay. Cameron Brate's bat, a little better. Yeah, yeah he's, he's definitely and, a better and, receiver. And that kid that they drafted out of Washington, by all accounts, is going to be very good. Mm -hmm. But he's just a kid from Washington right now. Yeah, but Skip, it takes time to build. It takes time to build chemistry. That's in meeting room. That's on the practice field. Obviously, that's game situation. And Tom and Gronk has built that up over, over a decade. So they know each other. They know each other's tendencies. Gronk knows where knows where Tom wants him. Tom knows where Gronk wants the ball to give him an opportunity to catch the ball and turn it around because he's a big man, Skip. And you want, you want Gronk not to have to turn around and catch the ball and do all that. You wanted to put it so he can just turn and run with it. Yep. And Tom has done a great job doing that with Gronk. Uh, but like I said, I believe he's done. I, I, I believe he's done. And t until I see him back out there, see that 87 with that Tampa colors on, yep. I'm going to believe that he's done. Maybe I'm trying to speak it back yeah, into I think existence, that's, I think that's what I you're don't. Trying. I think that's what you're trying I to do. I think he knows that Tom needs him. If Tom's going to do what Tom has set out to do, win one more Super Bowl, he needs Gronk. Tom, you told me Tom don't need anybody. You say it's all I about Tom. I did not say that. It's Although all Tom. There were many days up in New England when he came oh, out for warm-ups and he looked up in the stands, he, he saw three guys from Dorchester. He'd just say, hey, you, 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 and you come down here. I need you today. And and he he made him look like Pro Bowl. That's what he did. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. But he does need to go tight end. I mean, Tom's 45 years of age. And you say he's on the decline, so here we go. I mean, yeah. you, you say he's on you say he's on the uptick. So. I do. Okay. Yep. Well, he should. Hey, as a matter of fact, he should tell Mike Evans to go home. Mm. Mike Evans, you go home. I don't need nothing. Tristan Worth, I'm good. Mm. I'm gonna show him I can do it without all y'all. You know what? You might get a call from Tom nah, Brady yeah. at some point. <laughs> yeah. I hope he calls you, him. You, you would answer that. Hello, call. congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Tom, how you doing, man? Good luck this yeah. year. That's all I got huh? for you, Tom. Like, November in Tampa, huh? It's With hot. what? It's hot. With two artificial hips? Yes. <laughs> I can't run up but a stick route. Five yeah. yards, they tackle me. Come on and get me. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show. And be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.